Praise the Lord. Good night. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Wednesday night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world, but Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome tonight? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. Yes, my friends, he said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no panic shall come by the dwelling. Welcome to the next Let's give a big hand. Praise the Lord, those of you who are listening to me tonight from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street with your phone in church, or right here, God bless you richly. Sincerely from my heart, once again, I release a blessing upon your life. Yes, I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, and every area in your life. And whatever you do, it shall prosper. Let me break it down this night. I pray tonight that God will bless your homes. God will bless your marriage. God will bless your children. God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. He will bless you on the job and give you promotion on the job. Yes, my friends, I cover each and every one of you, children of God, under the precious blood of Jesus. And I build a hedge around your life tonight. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious. The blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness tonight my friends every spirit of witchcraft obia demonic forces evil blights generational curses whether first second third or fourth generational curses i destroy under the blood of jesus i break every chain i break every barrier i break every fetter, I break every evil work of darkness for whom the sun set free is free indeed. You are free tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give a big hand. Yes, my friends, you are free by the blood of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. Yes, my friends, Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes i am healed you are healed we are healed in jesus name let's give him a big yes my friends but jesus also said in the word is the thief commit, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And that's the devil tonight. He wants to rob you of divine health. He wants to rob you of your true peace and your joy and your happiness and satisfaction tonight. But I rebuke him tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every chain tonight and every barrier that the devil will send against you. Yes, my friends, God will give you life and life abundantly. But I know many, many are sick tonight and at home. And in the hospitals, yes, many are sick tonight unto death, and you're breathing your last breath, and you're saying that uh, the doctors have told your family and relatives that you will not live, but you will die. But this man of God is here to tell you tonight uh, that you will not die, but you will live. You will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny, because God has not finished with you as yet. You still have to live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny. Yes, my friends, God has a work for you to do. And if cancer has eaten up your whole inside tonight, I'm here to tell you that God, the Holy Spirit, would have borne out that cancer, borne out that AIDS, borne out that sickness, borne out that disease. 
And if you have a heart problem tonight uh, and you had multiple heart attacks uh, and the doctors have discovered uh, and there is a hole in your heart tonight my friends you will be healed god will give you a brand new heart those of you who have drunk much alcohol and your liver has swinged up and dried up and the doctor says when it's too late for you you will not live but you will die i'm here to tell you god can change that and god can give you a second chance you will live and not die because tonight is your night for a miracle God going to give you a brand new liver. Yes, my friend, she says, preacher, what are you saying tonight? Yes, I'm telling you what God can do tonight. My friends, if your two kidneys have shut down tonight, yes, and you've been in a hospital for weeks, and the doctors, they were trying their best to sustain life in you. Yes, you're waiting for someone to give you two kidneys for you to get a transplant, but no one is coming, and your time is running out. Tonight, my friends, God is going to give you two brand new kidneys. Yes, what is ailment tonight? What is a sickness tonight? Why am I telling you this? There is nothing too hard for God to do if God form man out of dust and breathe into his nostrils and form all your organs and tissue and give you a body so beautiful why can't he give you a new organ today tonight my friends or a new tissue a damaged organ or damaged tissue and body he can replace tonight because he's all powerful let's give him a big hand tonight he's all powerful he is creator and sustainer he made everything in this world Yes, my friends, and there is nothing too hard for him to do. All you need is to faith in God tonight, and you need to understand who he is. He is almighty. He is the creator and sustainer. He is the one who breathed breath of life into you. He is the one who formed you out of dust, and he is a powerful God today. My friends, yes, what is your ailment today? Are you blind? He can give you new eyes. Your new eyes can pop into your socket. I remember the story with a alley many years ago and Shambak when the little boy was born with 10 26 major sicknesses and disease he was place with new eyes there was no eyes in the socket yes and god gave him new eyes and feet had grown in front of everybody god did 26 miracles in front of of the whole congregation and God can do that tonight for you my friends yes that's the God we're serving whether you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you're lame tonight I do I do not care what is your ailment but I'm here to tell you that God will give you a miracle if you're suffering from depression oppression frustration anxiety what is the case tonight if you have a migraine headache that is killing you tonight yes and send you to the grave God is gonna give you a healing tonight that you won't have to drink a tablet anymore if you have arthritis pain all over your joints in your fingers on your knees in your toes and elbows God gonna touch you and heal you completely a complete work tonight in the name of Jesus let's give him a big hand tonight yes my friends if you're suffering tonight with anxiety God gonna take away that anxiety and set you free from every work of darkness those who are demon possessed tonight right now I feel a tremendous anointing of God the Holy Spirit I see in the spirit realm the demons are leaving your bodies yes right now those demons are leaving your bodies yes they're fleeing right now because demons have to go in the name of Jesus and the power of Jesus and the blood of Jesus demons have to go demons tremble and I rebuke those demons from your body and I command them to go right now in the name of Jesus leave in the name of Jesus tonight my friends make sure you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior yes and be filled with the Holy Spirit so those demons cannot come back and possess your body in the name of Jesus wherever you are tonight listening to this message tonight my friends God gonna touch you and heal you if you are listening to me from the USA from the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of the world, tonight is your night for a miracle. Tonight is your night for healing and deliverance. Tonight, my friend.
friends, is your night for salvation. Yes, God can give you salvation. God gonna work a miracle in your life tonight. God gonna give you something that no doctors can give you. I am not condemning doctors tonight. But what I'm telling you here tonight, uh, that God will give you a miracle and you will not die, but you will live. You will live, my friends, uh, to fulfill purpose uh, and calling and destiny. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the power of God, the Holy Spirit. Uh, is here tonight and i pray father god you dip me in the river of liquid fire tonight of the holy spirit and anoint mortal lips of clay anoint my lips anoint my tongue like isaiah yes my body soul and spirit and my mental faculties as you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the holy spirit tonight yes heal my body from every virus every sickness every germs every disease every infirmities every evil and every work of darkness as i minister your words tonight your the words will breathe life into your people tonight. Yes, as I bring a few words that you need to understand the pray tonight, it will bring life into your soul tonight. But before I get into that tonight, my friends, I am going to send for the anointing. I know God says in his words, we as preachers must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But my friends, Friends, tonight uh, there are exceptional cases uh, where that is concerned, my friends. Uh, yes, uh, God is no limit, uh, and God is there is no barrier and limit uh, where prayer is concerned tonight. Uh, and right now, in the name of Jesus, uh, I send for the anointing. Right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Uh, be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I see many are healed, many are saved. Saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. My friends, is the power of God, it's the power of the Holy Spirit. Demons are leaving people's bodies right now. I see blind eyes are opening, deaf, yes, my friends, I see the, the, the dumb talking and the deaf hearing tonight. Yes, I see people being healed from migraine headache. That demonic forces of darkness is leaving you. That spirit of sickness is leaving you tonight. Diabetes, people have been healed from diabetes. Yes, people have received, received the healing from their heart and their lungs and their liver and their kidneys. Yes, some have received brand new kidneys from the Lord tonight. Yes, let's give him a hand tonight. It's the work of the Holy Spirit, my friends. Healing is a children's bread tonight. Yes, my friends, it's the power of God tonight. Write me, text me, call me, and let me know what our Heavenly Father has done. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, tonight we give you praise. Heavenly Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, tonight, oh Lord God, I enter into the gates with thanksgiving, into your courts with praise tonight. I want to thank you for your goodness and your mercy upon my life tonight. I thank you, Lord, for being in my life tonight. You are the Lord God Almighty, the great I am tonight. Yes, Lord, I say that you are my refuge. You are the chief cornerstone tonight. And I choose to trust in the true and living God tonight. You provide me with a shelter from life storms and from life, life difficulties tonight. I speak the blood of Jesus upon each and every member of my family and for protection and preservation of life. I decree and I declare the gates of hell shall not prevail against me and my loved ones and my brethren. Yes, I commit myself and my family and my brethren in their hands. Yes, I apply the blood of Jesus. Yes, upon each and every doorstep of my home and your home, upon each and every window post of my home and your home, you're for protection in the name of Jesus Christ. May your pillar of fire be seen be my family and my loved ones abide and my brethren every night. I, Lord, you have said you will not allow sicknesses and disease to come near me. I therefore declare that sicknesses and disease are far from me and my family and my brethren. I pray that you protect me and my family and brethren from everything we cannot see to harm us. No demon from hell or 
unclean spirit, no generational curses or mis misfortune will touch me or my family and brethren. You go and I pray it will protect me and my loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The name of Jesus was given power above all names tonight. Your word in Psalms 91 says you will protect me from the terror by night, the arrow that flies by day, and I will receive the promise. I believe that you are faithful to your word. Let's give a big hand tonight. Yes, Lord, you are faithful. You are mighty and all powerful tonight. God, I enter your presence with sincere gratitude for your protection of my life yes thank you lord for being safe being my safe place for being my refuge tonight i am thankful for your wonderful care tonight and tender mercies in this world there are many enemies all around me dear god in the unseen world the devil is working trying to derail me and destabilize me from the faith so i call on you tonight this is a battle i cannot fight with my physical hands yes lord so i i call on a, a power that is higher i call on you jesus with a supernatural power your word reminds me that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against spiritual wickedness in high places and lord this high that the need that I have for your heavenly protection, your word says, the God, the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him tonight and delivers them. Yes, Lord, to, to taste and see that the Lord is good. My, my Lord, blessed is the man who trusts in him tonight. Yes, friends, thank you, Lord, for promising, promise of protection. Is Sam that offers such a blessed hope tonight. Yes, Lord, I find peace in you, the God, because I am born of you are a God who renew my strength. Yes, dear God, let your angels of peace go ahead of me. Let them have charge over my me, Father, tonight. I am at peace knowing that I don't need to worry about protection for I am covered by the blood of Jesus. Yes, my friends, Lord, I don't lean on my own understanding because you are all knowing God. Yes, so Father, I pray for heavenly strength so that I I will be able to withstand the storms of life and the challenges I face daily. Let's give the Lord a big hand. Strengthen me so that I will be able to withstand the attacks of the enemy before. Give me the power I need to overcome tonight. Give me peace so that I will not allow fear and anxiety to hold me back tonight. Lord, I put my trust in you as I seek your blessings of divine protection tonight. I refuse to let anxiety or fear become my companion tonight. Help me to trust in you and not to worry tonight. Help me to fully rely on your unlimited ability to keep me grow guarded and protected tonight. I am blessed because I'm under the care of Jesus Christ. Yes, friends, I am blessed because I watch you watch over me, dear God, every day. Every day I'm blessed and protected because you go before me, Lord Jesus, and watch over my coming in and my going out. Yes, Lord, I rejoice always tonight. No danger will overwhelm me when I'm in your presence. The Father, I will put my faith in your in you regardless of what I'm facing. I will give you my thanks to you in all situations I face. I'm only strong and courageous because I know that you are on my side. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, I trust that all my steps are ordered by you. I have confidence in your word that tells me to approach the throne of grace boldly tonight and as if I ask anything according to your will yes then I know that you will hear me tonight the father I apply I simply want to take time out of my day to say thank you thank you for being good to me let's give you a big thank you for being patient with me 
Father, I pray that I will always abide under your shadow of being. And I am always close to you, the Father. You're always near and never too far from me, the Father. Yes, I say to you tonight, Lord. I say to you tonight, Lord, you are the chief cornerstone of my life. And you are my strong tower tonight. I am trusting in you to be with me always and be my defender. Yes, Lord. You, Jesus, are faithful. I trust and believe that you will strengthen me tonight and protect me from the evil one. Yes, Lord, I pray that you will help me tonight in my time of need. Let nothing happen to me that will result in my losing my peace or my joy, dear Father. I thank you, Lord, today for blessing me with peace. Thank you for blessing me with a calm spirit and a heart that is not troubled today, Lord. I pray that you will help me, dear Father, so that the things of this world may not affect me so much that they will result in me losing my peace. Dear Father, grant me the grace, Lord, of to face my mountains, to face my Goliaths with no fear, but rather an assured confidence that my Lord will deliver he will uplift me and protect me from all harm. Yes, so Father, tonight I pray, Lord God, you help me. I see that you are my refuge. You are the chief cornerstone. I choose to trust in the true and living God tonight. You provide me with shelter from life storm, from life difficulties. Yes, I speak the blood of Jesus. Let's speak the blood of Jesus. Each and every member of my family for protection and preservation of life I declare that the gate of hell shall not prevail against me and my loved ones Lord I commit myself and family into your hands in the name of Jesus yes I apply the blood the blood the blood the blood, the blood of Jesus upon each doorstep of my home, each window of my post. Yes, for protection in the name of Jesus. Give me hand. Yes, may your pillar of fire be seen with my family and I abide every night. We, Father, Lord, you have said in your words, you will not allow sickness and disease once again to come near me. I therefore declare that sickness and disease are far from everyone tonight. I pray that you protect me and my family from everything you cannot see tonight that tries to harm us. No demon on hell, no unclean spirit, no generational curses, no misfortune will touch me and my family of God because I pray you will protect me and my loved ones tonight in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. We believe that this is the power above all things tonight. Your word in Psalms 91 says you will protect me from the terror by night, the arrow that flies by day. Yes, the God, I receive that promise. I receive it. In the name of Jesus, I believe you are faithful to your word. Hallelujah. Your word, my friends. I thank you for your word. You are mighty and all powerful tonight. Yes, God, I enter your presence again in sincere gratitude for your protection over my life and loved ones. Yes, thank you for being my safe place, for being my refuge. Tonight, I'm thankful for your wonderful care. And tender mercies. I thank you for my children. Lord, this world, there are many enemies all around me. It's unseen world. The devil is working, trying to derail me and my family and destabilize me and my family from the faith. So I call on you. This is a battle I cannot fight with my physical hands. So I call on a power that is higher tonight. I call on you, Jesus, to help me and my loved ones. Your war reminds me that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers against spiritual wickedness in high places i see high places the lord the heights 
the need I have for you, your heavenly protection tonight. Your word says, angels of the Lord encamp all around those who fear him and delivers them. Thank you, Lord. Oh, peace and sleep. The Lord is good, my friends. Blessed is the man who trusted in him tonight. Trust him tonight, my friends. Thank you for your promise of protection, the Father. is Sam that offers such a blessed hope tonight. Yes, I find peace in you, the God, because when I am worn out, you are a God who renews my strength. Thank you for renewing my strength tonight. Thank you, Lord, for renewing my strength. Have take charge, my Father. I rest in a peace knowing that I am need no need to worry about your protection. I am covered, covered by the blood of Jesus. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. Lord, I don't lean on my own understanding. Because you are all knowing, you are all knowing God. I pray for heavenly strength tonight so that I'll be able to withstand what life brings, the challenges that I face daily. Strengthen me so I'll be able to withstand the attacks of the enemy from left, right, and center. Give me the power I need to overcome tonight. Give me peace so that I will not allow fear and anxiety and stress. Yes, to come to me, O oh Father. I put my trust in you. I seek your blessing of divine protection. Yes, break every chain, break every barrier, break every fetter, break every evil, break every work of darkness, and help me tonight not to worry. Help me to fully rely on your unlimited ability to keep me guarded and protected tonight, O oh Father. I Break every generational curses, every evil. Yes, in the name of Jesus, I am blessed because you watch over me every day, oh Father. Yes, you watching over for me. You're directing my steps. You're directing my walk. Lord Jesus, yes, I is going. I'm going to serve you. I will rejoice always because no danger will overwhelm me when I'm in your presence. Oh Father, I will put my faith in you regardless of what I'm facing today. I give, I give my thanks to you in all situations I face and I'm going only strong and courageous because I know that you are on my side and you will never leave me nor forsake me. Father, I trust that you will trust you order my steps. Oh Father, I have confidence in your word that tells me to approach the throne of grace boldly tonight and that if I ask anything according to your will tonight that you know that you will hear me. Oh Father, give me strength tonight. I simply want to take time out of the day to say thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord Jesus for being so good to me. Thank you for being your peace. Thank you for never giving up on me. Thank you for using me. I try to abide under your shadow. Meaning I'm always close to you. You are always near and never too far for me tonight. I will say to you, Lord Jesus, you are the chief cornerstone of my life and you are my strong power tonight. I am trusting in you with my with you I'm trusting in you always to be my defender you Lord Jesus are faithful I trust and believe that you will strengthen me tonight and protect me from the devil himself Lord I pray that you will help me in my time of need supply all my needs what it needs may be let nothing go oh father lose that that and I'm not to lose my peace and my joy. Thank you for being for, for blessing me with peace. Thanks for being blessing me with a calm spirit and a heart that is not troubled this night. Lord, I pray that you will help me so that the things of this world may not affect me so much that they will result in me losing my peace. Oh Father, I thank you for your peace and your love and your grace and your mercy. Remove everything every mountain of sickness and pain and disease and infirmities and every work of darkness I have assurance and confidence that my God will deliver me and uplift me and protect me from all harm. Thank you for listening to my prayer tonight oh Father in Jesus name I pray tonight. Let's give a big hand. Yes. Thank you for your presence tonight. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Amen.
amen and amen my friends it is being a great joy and privilege tonight uh, to be here to offer our prayers to God and to thank him tonight uh, and I trust tonight uh, that each and every one of you will have a sweet night rest yes put your trust and confidence in God he will never leave you nor forsake you my friends even on to the end of this world God bless you richly do have a sweet night dress in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen thank you Jesus praise God hallelujah amen